Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Stephen Breach coming to you here about the uh, San Francisco 49ers coming into a tough game. We're going to be going up against the Arizona Cardinals. I think everybody can remember early on in the season uh, when the San Francisco 49ers ran into a big problem, and that was Arizona, who uh, at that time was 3-0. and uh, The Niners were coming in at 1-2. and You know, we had sort of bounced back from this in, in years past, uh, but we were not able to do it this year as uh, we got our asses handed to us 47 to 7. This was in uh, Colin Kaepernick threw for a total of 67 passing yards with four interceptions. Um, the uh, the Niners were able to rush the ball for just under 100 yards. Uh, we had a horrible day all over. Um, basically, Carson Palmer had a great day. Um, 300 yards passing. He threw for two uh, touchdowns. Uh, Chris Johnson ran the ball for over 100 yards with two touchdowns as well. Uh, Larry Fitzgerald caught every ball that was thrown in his direction and that this is something uh, the Niners can't let happen again. Uh, but honestly, I think that honestly, when you look at what's going on on Sunday, it's probably going to happen again. Um, the Niners um, going out there with Blaine Gabbard, they've had success with him the last two weeks um, as a starting quarterback. It looks like, uh, you know, Colin Kaepernick has, uh, I guess it, it's almost officially uh, been ended. Um, you know, as a Colin Kaepernick fan and as a Colin Kaepernick supporter, I think that honestly, um, maybe. Um, the Niners haven't showed a lot of faith in their head coach. Maybe they bring in a coach who thinks that Colin Kaepernick uh, can be saved as a starting quarterback, and maybe they don't uh, cut him to save that money uh, that's guaranteed on his contract. But uh, it looks like everyone's looking forward uh, to, to letting Colin go, not me. I just... You know, if Blank Gabbard's going to be a starter come, you know, next season, if he's a starter, he's a, he's my guy. But uh, I don't know. I mean, there, there's honestly not a lot to say. I've always I've, I've enjoyed making these videos the last few years talking about the 49ers. Um, and we've been good. And I'm not some, some person who's going to be like, oh, man, I'm only going to be with them when they're good. I'm always going to be a Niners fan till the day I die. It's just hard to say anything nice about this team. And you don't want to trash your team. Um, too bad. There, there's going to be some injuries. Hyde's not going to play. Glenn Dorsey's not going to play. Bowman might not play on the defensive side of the ball. Um, we don't have a lot of good things going for us. So here we are uh, at 3-7. and seven. Uh, We're at week 12. Uh, we're almost at the point where you just want the next five weeks of the season to just disappear and go away. But um, pick the Cardinals to win. Um, I'd be really surprised. Look at ESPN.com right now. It's a 90% chance, um, uh, you know, in the pick them that, um, the 49ers are going to win and 10% for the 49ers. I, I don't really see the Niners winning this game though. And I want to see some good stuff, but I don't think it's going to be that good.